Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Um, sorry about that, camera's all not in the right place. <laughs> now, I've come on here today to show you how what I've been doing. I've been having a bit of fun. Actually, I was going out to get my daughter's dinner, but she decided to do it herself at lunch, so I have to come back in here now. So I'm in the middle of lots of things. So, because I wanted to show you my buttons. I <laughs> think about these, and they're good. Love them. I made myself some giant buttons. Look at that. I think they're absolutely awesome. And I'm in the process of covering this one to decorate it. Look. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, now they're quite easy. I have these different, uh, this die here that I've got with all different sizes. I'm tempted, you know, to go to the bigger one, but then I've got to make the right size hole in the centre. And I have to find something to do that with. But these are, um, my that set there that actually is not even just on the piece of card that's not even where I got it from but anyway so I got that and I ran for the big shot and I made um I did card so we need some card board sort of thing to, to make them really thick so I've done some card and I've done some paper now I've used three um I'll just put one together here. I've used three pieces of card and I think four pieces of paper and that was only because I did it by accident but I left it like that so so that's three pieces of the card you just put that together and hold it there and give it a glue. Sorry about that. Um, I should have lunch ages ago but I get stuck in here and um, doing stuff. Now there's pink and the pink had a, a bit of a um, pattern on the paper. So let me see, will I do the pink or the... Yeah, these look alright. I might do the white one on the top. So this time I'll put this brown underneath, or brownie colour, underneath there, one on that side, one on this side. So we've got to get some more glue. I started using that um, PVA glue. Oh dear, I oh, don't like that at all. It's not good for this sort of thing. And I don't think that you could use your glue gun either unless you're going to flatten it down really quick because you're going to make something that you could use it, but um, you know, but you've got to cover that a bit of a space there. So we'll do the pink one now, will we? Yeah, that's very light, but it's a pink. So I've got three pieces of the, well, see, you don't have to have the what's name to do this with. I'm going to take a bit of this glue off this side here. And I'll put it around there because we don't want too much glue. I don't get too carried away with my glue sometimes. If I haven't put it all over, it'll let me know later. I, I'm sure you when I go to do something else with it. Okay, so that's your button. Now, in hindsight, you wait until it dried, you know, because you don't want to actually do this yet. But now to do the first one, to make sure I had the holes in the right place, actually, I think they might be a bit close together, but I did try worked out by eye and I did it then I just got that one and I put it over the others put a mark put over the other button put, colored that in a bit there like so and this is because I've got glue on me because I've been doing stuff it's okay they've glue on your hands if they, they do it that's a different way to be dirty I suppose <laughs> have glue and then dirt um, you get smacked on the fingers at school if you had dirty hands. Now, I'm going to use me. Well, I'm going to use me. Um, crop it off. <laughs> and I'm going to cut through that. And it wasn't. It didn't do too bad. I thought it'd be, it might. You know, the glue mightn't have been dry. So then you come into the other side find out where your circle is and I suppose nobody can see what I'm doing here because I'm trying to show myself and just cut that down there like that and there's your button look at that I think it's amazing so I covered these with paper I did the last one of those with um, text you know text so I could have the paper these are done with um, just a ordinary um, scrapbook paper and I just put a bit of gesso around the edges of them I won't do this one just yet because he's got a got to dry a bit first but if you just put the gesso onto something and re see I might still have to go around and redo these again to make sure the edges are really done good you know you don't want to have the edges all 
yucky. Now I've started to decorate one of them. That's um, one of my buttons. For <laughs> Actually, I think I might send them to um, Robin in the challenge. I don't know whether she'll think they're too big or not, but I think they'd be nice. You could even use them for a tag, I reckon, if you wanted to. I wanted to leave the hole there too so you could see it. I don't know that much. <laughs> you know, but I just... Yeah, and I will put a couple more little bits because I think it still needs a little bit there to go yet. So that's what I've been doing with that. So they're my buttons that I've been making this morning. And um, I'll also show you um, something else. Uh, if I can't get permission off Elaine to do this, I might be putting either one of these up here because I want to leave this together. Can I just check how long I've been on here for? I've only been on here for five minutes, okay, so I can still do another few minutes. Elaine did a bag and she covered it with a piece of um, uh, napkin and behind it it had text, you could see it and I wanted to show everybody how you actually come about that, okay? So I did this this morning and I'm going to show you on another bag but I'm going to try it on a brown paper bag this time Needless to say I've still got a lot of work to do on this but I wanted to show you that I wanted to, you know, in case some people don't quite know how you know you come about that so that you can see the text behind the, the napkin so <clears throat> I'm going to go get a brown paper bag and I won't take the top off it just yet but I may do later I don't know now I held mine open because I didn't want to excuse me for that one I don't want it to go right through um, and I'm going to use this PVA glue because it's good for this okay so it's good for doing this with I'm going to find myself a piece of paper as you can see, I'm not prepared because I, like I said, I was going to get my daughter's lunch to change my mind because I wanted to do these videos. Um, I'll put these, because if you don't write, do them, you can't put them up, can you? So I might just do a small piece. So we get an old piece of paper from a book. Try not to use those plain pieces. They're not very exciting, are they? Right? Now I know what I'm going to be lacking, and that'll be a, a, a brush because... This morning I used it and I bet you I didn't soak it. I didn't. Oh no, it'll be right. It'll work. Now, um, the PVA glue is really good or craft glue. Keep, you know, that they use for kids craft or whatever. So this is really good to do this. It's not actually, I'm not saying it's decoupage, but it's how, you, you know, you, dear oh dear, it takes so long to come out. I'm so impatient, me. <laughs> oh, everything gets stuck up and glummy and oh, look at this is a bit there we go we're not going to be mucking about here right so we want to paint this on and I'm sorry about the noise I'm making it's terrible isn't it stop it somehow. oh dear and then you'll put on your piece of now I'm going to have to change this because this paintbrush is definitely not the right thing to use. And this won't fit in my pot. I don't need it in the pot, do I? I've got this bit here now. I was going to took the ends off it so I could stick it in that pot, but I don't need to. That's one of my good crafting <laughs> demonstrations. Anyway, <laughs> right, so we need glue. And then any other day, you know, it'd be falling out of this pot all over the place. But because I want to do this, I'm going to just slow down, calm down, and let's see what happens. And don't p nobody panic it. <laughs> there we go. Get that bit out of there. Now, right, now we've got a bit. There's a bit down. I'll keep it laying down or on its side. So I've got one of these sponge things now. I took the two ends off it because it wouldn't fit in that gesso pot but I'm not going to be putting gesso on it for the time being now I'm going to put that on the top of there which I should have stuck that now stick your glue underneath and your glue on the top okay of your paper you know I did this this morning and it went really easy and it was really good fun I had no trouble with it whatsoever it's always the way isn't it what I did this morning, I enjoyed it, and I thought, I'm just going to show people how to do this, just in case, because a lot of people that do crafting things now have not necessarily done them in the past, and therefore maybe they haven't learnt different techniques or ways to do things. So make sure there's glue underneath that. Okay, so it's 
it's all sitting down because you don't want that to fall off and so you put that on there like so okay so don't need to wait until it dries <coughs> and then we need a picture so we have some napkins here somewhere actually we've got a truckload of them not a truckload of them in a big box full um, and I will put on what do I put on there Goodness me, you'd have sort of got myself sorted, wouldn't you? Um, it's just too many to choose from. It's not good when you've got too many choices and you can't make up your mind. Okay. This is pretty. I like the pretty ones. So I've got this pink one, okay? Now, usually they've got um, three pieces, okay? So you're going to take the two back pieces off this three ply you can undo this on your come on now it doesn't matter if I do get it um yes <laughs> right, there we go look see comes off like so you can take it all off <clears throat> now I'm only going to use a part of this I did a bag well I covered it all with this looked really cool too I'll find it and show you one day. I just sat there and did it just to see what it would look like. I don't know what I did with that. So you're somewhere. So you just get your piece of napkin and you put it over the top of that. You get your glue. Now you can pull the napkin off in a you know manner that sort of makes it fray or whatever you want to do. You, know, you can you can put more on, take more off. Let's see, there you go. Now you can see the text coming through from your piece of paper. You know, I never read any of these. I probably should do. I don't imagine there'd be anything bad written on there, but I never do read them. <laughs> so when that dries a bit, I might just take it, I could do that now anyway, and pull it off and just give it a little edge like so. Now whether you want to keep putting more on the bag or whatever, you know, that's it's up to everybody, whatever they want to do. But that is how you put your napkin on to the bag and um, if you're watching this it means uh, Elaine said it was okay for me to show you on a tutorial how it was done okay so it doesn't come all the way up there because it, it didn't but that doesn't matter does it it's all creativity isn't it and it works fine on the brown one as well as it does did on the on the bird on it and so I like it when it scratches up a bit and I'm going to be um, finishing these off with some flowers, some lace, and bits and pieces. And I've been scrap lifting off you, Elaine, and I'm terribly sorry, but and I hope I've been saying your name instead of somebody else's while I'm on here. I do the habit of doing that, calling people different names that are not theirs. I oh, now turned the light off. <laughs> I gotta go and eat because you know <laughs> it is two o'clock. <laughs> in the afternoon I haven't had my lunch so I'm gonna go and do that anyway thank you everybody for watching and I hope you like me buttons too you know so because I really am having fun making those and I have actually started my lace trim so I'll be coming back later to show you um, what I've done with that anyway thanks so thank you everybody for watching and we'll catch up with you later bye bye